Midnight sun season, also known as polar day. The four month long period from April to late August when we have no darkness whatsoever. The sun never once dips below the horizon during the 24 hours of the day, leaving us in constant daylight. Not only does this season take away my favorite time of day, which is cozy time, basically lighting candles and enjoying the darkness time, it also messes up my sleep schedule completely. In the first month or so, I managed to keep a routine and my body remembers the pattern from before. But at the beginning of August, I've completely lost any sense of what is night and day. At this point, I'm struggling to go to bed at night and also struggling to get up in the morning. So to combat this complete loss of my circadian rhythm, I am trying to set myself a 7.30 a.m. morning routine. Why 7.30, you may ask? because I am terrible at getting up in the morning. And if I don't set it super early, you know, to me, it won't feel like an accomplishment. And I will talk myself out of getting up and tell myself it's already late anyway. So it needs to be 7.30 because it feels early. Welcome to the battles of my morning mind. I am a master sleeper. <laughs> so 7.30 a.m. it is. I just put you out here. Today is an absolutely incredible day. Since both Christopher and I work from home, I've been missing that feeling of getting up in the morning and just being alone. I don't know why, but there's something so nice about starting the day with a tea or a coffee and just my own company. And Grim, of course. I knew I wanted to spend the first hour reading, so I clean up our space, light a candle, and sit down with my tea to read my book. The reason I'm not drinking coffee this early is because if I start drinking coffee at 7.30, I'm not gonna have any coffees left by 10, you know? I need to conserve my coffee drinkage. It's too early for the dogs to get food at 7.30, so I wait until about 8.30 or 9 to give them breakfast. Can you have breakfast? You hungry, guys? Look. You look hungry. Okay, venta. Okay, seat. This was also back when Fenders was staying with us for two weeks, oh so he God. isn't still living with us. He was just visiting then. I wait for about half an hour after they've had their food to take them on their walk. What is great about Finnish Lapuns is that it's not a crazy active breed. They are very happy with one good walk per day, so I thought it would be the perfect start to the day. The weather was incredible. So moody, no wind, a very eerie feeling in the air. As you can see, I'm carrying my shotgun. That is for polar bear protection and something I have to bring with me at all times when outside the cabin. We walk to the end of this road, which is about a 20 minute walk before turning to head home. Along the way, we run into plenty of wildlife. There are Svalbard reindeer roaming, Arctic foxes shouting from the mountainside, and tons of birds can be heard from high up in the mountains. The dew lay thick on the tundra, and it is one of my favorite things to capture. I think it's so beautiful to see how the droplets cling to the grass. It always reminds me of summer mornings growing up in Sweden.
Good morning, Christopher. Good morning. Good morning. Guess who you're talking to. Good morning, God. Cecilia 2.0. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I got up at 7.30. Mm -hmm. Like, not even with difficulty. I woke up now. 11 o'clock. That's how I used to be. <laughs> I remember those days. It was yesterday. <laughs> yeah. I have... What have I done? I have uh, read my book for two hours. Mm -hmm. Then I walked the dogs for one and a half. And the weather is beautiful. It's permanently rainy without raining. It's in the air. You walk out... It's all there, but it's beautiful. So uh, we've smelled the flowers and taken a lot of photos of the flowers. Okay. Yeah, just so you know. How do you feel today? I just woke up, so... Great. A little bit morning tired. <laughs> you look beautiful. <laughs> Would you like a coffee? Yes, please. Would you like some breakfast? No. <laughs> <laughs> do you not want egg whites no. with avocado? No. I'll give you a coffee. Christopher changed his mind and he wants tea and he's in an Earl Grey kind of uh, mood. Look at this box. This is, oh, I love this. It looks so vibrant. My favorite matcha. It's a bit messy here. Here's my, here's my coffee. That looks so nice. And of course, in everything we drink, Oatly. Also look at my office. I fixed up some things and put some lighting in here as well. We bought that as Philips Hue as well. Cleaned it up a bit and then put two lights there as well. It's going to be so good to have in the polar night season. Also, these lights can change color. Actually, I usually have it on like a pink setting. Oh, wow, I love this room. I ordered a new chair from Ikea because we did an Ikea haul. Or, yeah, we're getting some things for the TV room because that is, it's nice, but it's not comfortable for longer periods of time. So I'm going to see if the other one's better and then sell one of them. So that's good. Look, it looks so nice. This room makes me so happy. It gets me so excited to go and work. But today we're having a little bit of a chill day. And I don't think I'm going to work that much at all today. I might edit a little bit later on. All right, it is time for breakfast. I usually eat breakfast quite late. I'm just not hungry in the morning. I will often eat as late as 12 or 1 p.m. I'm on an egg white and avocado craze, so that is what we are doing today. Remember to save the yolks though. I'm just putting one egg, two egg whites, some cheese, ham, and Cajun spice in the mix. I am not a good cook and don't really enjoy cooking that much, but I am passionate about breakfast. <laughs> I could eat breakfast food for every meal forever, like avocado toast, bagels, cottage cheese, and muesli. Oh, I love it. Oh wait, I am not making egg whites and avocado I'm making my favorite meal ever Mexican breakfast I call it it started as a dream of making huevos rancheros which is like a traditional mid-morning dish in Mexico but since I suck at cooking my version is the simplest thing ever <laughs> so it's salsa cottage cheese eggs and avocados sometimes even black beans if I'm feeling fancy oh man I love huevos rancheros I've also been to Mexico and I loved it Since the midnight sun season has stolen my cozy hour from me, I am taking every opportunity for an open fire. Since today is moody and a bit cold and rugged, we are warming the day up with a cozy fire.
du lite vård för en ris? Ja. We're cleaning up his paws because he is licking them way too much. So there's like a little bit of an infection. I think it, I think he has fungus. What's it called? Swamp. And because Grim had that. He has chanterelles on this. <laughs> yeah, he has mushrooms and chanterelles. No, but so we got for Grim a spray that alleviates the itching sensation. And I think that's gonna work. He licks his paws almost until they bleed. That's not okay, honey. So we're gonna just take care of you, okay? <laughs> Don't look so sad. You know when you're done, Fenris? Do you know what? Those good for goodies, yeah? Looks so sad. It's like there's a human in there. Oh my god, you're so cute. You know, I'll do this to a sit. You're so cute. I absolutely love having a spin bike at home, so I try to make the most of that. And since I barely watch any TV during the midnight sun season, this is the perfect time for me to catch up on some of my favorite trashy TV shows, like Below Deck. I love Below Deck. And then look at me, I'm making dinner. I'm cooking again. Who am I, new woman? Do not come for me for my chopping skills. I'm doing the best I can. And I'm making bolognese, kind of. Schöttfärsås. I'm cooking today. Sometimes I do that. I can't cook many things, but I can cook chefeshoas. Eller hur finns det där? It's because it's impossible to fail, I would say. I don't even, I just, I just put stuff in here. And it becomes food. Who would have thought? Look, this is my dinner on lettuce today. And now we're gonna watch some Bridgerton over there where Fendis is and eat because that's what we like to do. Mr. Christopher, it's time to go to bed. Yes. Do you think I'm gonna make it another morning and get up? Yeah. You I do? Have, I have strong belief in you. Was it the most peaceful morning of your life? <laughs> yeah, it was quiet until I wake up. <laughs> But I mean, it was quiet. You got to sleep, and it was so quiet. Yeah. Oh. And you, like, I had my morning. I'm a new woman now. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it again tomorrow. Okay. See you guys tomorrow. We'll see. And right now it's. Let's see. Right now it's nine. Nine thirty. Next time we'll see you. Let's hopefully it's seven thirty. Okay. Good morning. Good morning, Henrys. Good night. Hey, good morning. Good morning, little kitten. Oi, oi, oi. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. It's. Now I've woken up a bit more. <laughs> I just, I have to be quiet, Chris, for sleeping. I just put the dogs outside. It's already 7.52, but I put the dogs outside. I'm gonna give them food in about half an hour, I think, because it's a bit early now for them. And I'm gonna have a tea, and then I'm gonna sit and read because I wanna finish the book. Look, oh wait, where is it? There, that's all I have left. And then I finished this one. This wasn't my favorite, to be honest. I kind of find it just never ending. I, I, all of the other ones I was kind of like, oh no, it's over. This one I was kind of like, okay. It's a very long story. I feel like it, they've kind of, she's dragged it out. That's okay, that's what happens. After this one, I'm not gonna read the last book. I kind of like, reading books in between the series. I think there's one left after this one because they're just 
so long in a certain type of story. So I kind of read one, then I do a couple in between, and then I read the last one. It's just how I like to do it. Okay, what tea do I want today? I don't, do I want womankind maybe? A delicate rose of organic cranberry. Be happy, let's do that one. I love that these have quotes on them. Oh, okay. I mean, believe something higher. I believe in coffee. Stop. But so I'm gonna eat at like ten, I think, because I have a podcast I'm doing today. I'm feature I'm gonna talk to this Swedish guy, Kalle. So exciting. He has a beautiful YouTube channel and also a really cool podcast. So I'm so excited to be on it. Uh, so I'm going to talk to him at 11, right? And today I'm going to do a really chill day as well because last week was so crazy. So I'm going to edit this afternoon and then I'm going to, I'm just going to read now this morning until Christopher wakes up. I think I'm going to do my walk as well, everything after because I feel a little bit tired today. Who knows? Okay. Let's go and sit down. Lever du? Lever du? Ja, du lever. Okay, I just wanted to check that you're alive. You know, you look a little bit dead there for a moment. Sorry. Go back to sleep. In the afternoon, I headed off to the gym to get a workout in. I try to do around three to five gym sessions a week, and this day was leg day. When I came home, Christopher called me and said that he was right outside our cabin with the boat. He had brought a friend out to go fishing. We get lots of questions if we can have our boat outside our cabin, and we cannot. It is way too unprotected, and also we have nowhere to secure it. You can't really leave a boat on anchor out there. Since it is also quite shallow, this is the closest to the cabin he can go. Now it is 9.25. Hey, Fenris. Hi. And it is time for me to go to bed because I'm going to go to bed before 11 to get up tomorrow at 7.30 and I want to be able to read a little bit more. Today I've read like 400 pages. All I really need to do is pull this one down and that one and then I might have my sleeping mask as well. But I'll show you how dark it is when I've pulled it all down. I mean, it's pretty dark. It works, you know. But so now I'm going to go to bed. I think that many people expect Polar Day to be the easiest season. The thought of endless daylight is probably a dream for many. You can do so much, the day has no limit. As much as I enjoy the first month of it, four months of endless anything is just a little bit too much. <laughs> the way my body reacts and decides to not want any sleep by the fourth month is also exhausting. I also just really, really miss the cozy aspects of life. I love early evenings when it starts getting dark, open fire sliding up the living room and watching a movie together at the end of the day. So I just, I just miss that. I kept my 7.30 a.m. morning routine for the entire week and felt probably the best that I have all summer. 
I had time for everything I wanted. I beyond enjoyed the first two hours of reading in the morning, and I just felt really productive. It's a good reminder that a solid routine can help you get out of a slump. I kind of fell out of my routine by week two though, <laughs> since we were out on a long boat trip where time has no meaning, but I will be getting back on track ASAP. It is soon time to say goodbye to the midnight sun and thank her for this year. We are then getting ready for a long period of darkness known as the polar night. But before we are left in darkness, we have two beautiful months of day and night, sunset and sunrise. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked it. If you haven't had enough of our Svalbard life, head to my Patreon to hang out with us more. You can grab a coffee and sit down with me for a coffee chat or head into the kitchen and bake with Christopher. Love y'all, bye.